Abeloth was known as one of the most powerful beings in Star Wars Legends. She was also known as the Bringer of Chaos and played a major part in galactic history, most notably after the Second Galactic Civil War, which is about the same time period as the sequel trilogy of films. So today I'll be covering her history and legends, and I'll discuss the possibility of her return. Before becoming immensely powerful in the Force, she was known as the Servant, a mortal woman who was a mother figure to the father's son and daughter. She kept the peace between the light and dark side entities, and eventually came to be known as the Mother. But since she was mortal, she feared death and the loss of her family, so she drank from the font of power and bathed in the pool of knowledge on the jungle planet where they lived. She was then corrupted and twisted, and became the immortal being Abeloth. The father took the son and daughter and abandoned Abeloth there. They enlisted the help of the Killick species to create Centerpoint and Sinkhole Station to imprison her. She would escape occasionally, and the son and daughter would have to return to contain her. This cycle repeated for tens of thousands of years until the death of the father, son, and daughter. Sixty years later, the rise of Darth Kytus awoke Abeloth, and she was able to escape her prison for good after the destruction of Centerpoint Station. She attempted to wipe out civilization, but was stopped and seemingly killed by Luke Skywalker and Darth Krayt. Fearing she could return, Skywalker sought to find Mortis and the dagger that was used to kill the Ones decades earlier. So, could Abeloth return to the canon? While I think it's unlikely the specific character could return, I do think it's possible Supreme Leader Snoke could be similar in theory. So while Abeloth may not return, she could provide some inspiration for future villains. We don't know much about Snoke or his motives, but I've speculated before that he's an immensely powerful being in the dark side, and that perhaps he was awakened by other events in the galaxy, much the same way Abeloth was awakened by Darth Kytus. Maybe the actions of Darth Sidious resulted in something similar. One aspect I think will be left in Legends, though, is the relationship with the Ones. It's possible Snoke could be a force wielder of their magnitude, but if he is at all related to them, I think that'll all be fleshed out in comics or books. I just think that's too obscure and weird for the main Star Wars fanbase. The people that watch the movies and nothing more just won't understand it. I also think that even if Snoke were inspired by Abeloth, his strength and abilities will be greatly reduced. For example, I doubt he has powers of possession, and while he is likely very old, I don't think he's immortal. Really, the main similarity I can see between the two characters is the possible awakening. But what do you guys think? Do you see any similarities between Abeloth and Snoke at all, or will they be vastly different characters? Do you think Snoke was ever awakened, or will he be as powerful as Abeloth? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook by clicking on the links in the description, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.